I'm reviewing another product again from Best Source Nutrition and uh, beta steterosterol. Now, what, what I want to do is, um, you know, as a nutritionist, we do cholesterol management and cholesterol is a huge thing today. First thing, your liver produces about 70% of your cholesterol. So you could have a genetic trait where you produce the high amount of cholesterol. Dietary impact is another 30%. Uh, I also believe that the sugar in our diet goes and slaps the cholesterol and makes it more stickier. Uh, so why is my review today on beta steterosterol? I remember reading this one paper on pomegranate seeds having beta steterosterol and uh, they did uh, ultrasound the carotid intermediate thickness which is the carotid artery here and they looked at the Doppler scan of the um, the diameter or you know the internal circumference and when you have atherosclerosis you tend to have plaque forming on the inside wall. So the pipeline tends to shrink. So what they saw with beta steterosterol specifically from pomegranate seeds was that um, there was a reduction over a one year consumption of the beta steterosterol having an ability to clear up plaque. So for me, what came to my mind was, wow, this food is like Drainix, pomegranate seeds. And there are various other um, plant compounds which have beta steterosterol. Now you need to understand they're known as stanols or sterols. Humans and animals have cholesterol, animal-based cholesterol, and plants' cholesterol is called sterols. So the sterols basically for you work in terms of coming in from your diet in terms of almond, pecan nuts, pine nuts, sunflower seeds, sesame seeds. My favorite is pistachios, uh, pomegranate seeds, avocados, and Nutritionally, you can take it from a supplement. So from that perspective, I think the nutritional indiscipline of the client who already has cholesterol, that's a major issue because, you know, you know that food is therapeutic, but then a nutritional supplement represents a nutritional convenience for your nutritional indiscipline. So taking a capsule of beta steterosterol is really amazing. And if you look over here, um, I just want to share with you one paper on uh, the Arjuna. So Arjuna is also another extract that is added inside the beta steterosterol. And what they found out is that it possesses anti ischemic antioxidants, hypolipidemic, anti atherogenetic activity, meaning reducing the plaque. And beta steterosterol is one of the uh, sterols and stanols in that. So when I train dietitians or nutritionists in the recommendation of beta steterosterol from a prescription point of view of a food molecule. You need to understand the impact that beta steterosterol and Arjuna has together. Happy to share with you the scientific studies below in the link of this video. And it was very interesting as I went through the study for Arjuna specifically, okay. Uh, if, if you can just zoom in over here, I'd like to show you um, what I have marked out hypertension, there was an improvement in breathlessness and overall well-being, diuresis, which is removal of water, and a fall both in systolic and diastolic blood pressure. What caught my attention also is that the desensitization of platelets. Today, post-vaccination, a lot of people have the spike protein and thrombogenesis and platelet aggregation and forming of blood clots is higher. So I'm like, hey, alkaline water, uh, more hydration, better electrolytes, maybe beta steterosterol with Arjuna can help in blood circulation. You should read up on the fecal excretion of cholesterol and the bile excretion of cholesterol. So sterols or stanols, specifically in this case, the beta steterosterol is known to take cholesterol out from the gut and dump it into fecal matter. Uh, in fact, if I can find uh, that reference uh, study, there's a lovely graph. If you see over here, the bile cholesterol excretion and the dietary cholesterol excretion. And when you increase the sterol content to about two grams a day, which is the stated dosage in all studies, you can see the fecal cholesterol excretion going out. So it means stuff like lipoprotein in this study showed up to a 10% reduction. So as a nutritionist, can I look at the diet? including foods that have beta steterosterol and make sure that my client gets about two grams of it 
Um, but if the client is not digitally disciplined, then uh, two capsules of beta steterosterol, I would do one post breakfast, one post lunch, uh, and can go up to three capsules a day. Um, what we want to be looking at is um, how long should we dose? We could dose for a period of 45 days. Also look at your liver profile, your kidney profile. What I'm saying to the medical practitioners and the nutritional practitioners out there is that there is something known as bioindividuality. So while we know that medical drugs have side effects and that's the domain of the doctor, the physician, the nutritional domain, which is changing your diet, changing your lifestyle, adding a nutritional supplement can still have a negative effect if it's self-helped. As in, if you take beta steterosterol on your own prescription, then you want to be watching your liver enzymes and kidney enzymes to see if that two products, this beta steterosterol and the um, Arjuna extract really works on your body. As in, it's a, is it a thumbs up or is it a thumbs down? At the end of the day, we've used this successfully at our nutritional cl clinical practice. And um, anyone who has got a stent or high cholesterol or high lipoprotein A, my recommendation is best source nutrition beta steterosterol and the omega-3 in combination. Um, other than this, there's so much more that you can do. Uh, the other parameters is deep breathing, walking. 10 minutes of walking post your each meal will, in my opinion, lower your body fat percentage. And it's your body fat percentage, triglycerides reduction, reduction of carbohydrate in the diet. All of these combinations, when you bring together, makes beta steterosterol uh, a very potent nutritional supplement from a cardiovascular care point of view, as well as blood pressure management point of view. If you want more information, you can refer to the studies. They're quite in-depth. And if you have any other queries, you could reach out to me, Ryan Fernando. I'll be happy to answer any queries about the product.